Zemo! Welcome to Tech Tuesday, a weekly series where we discuss some awesome tech cards as well as help make you a better player. This week's card is Mistaken Arrest, and you know, it'll be a real mistake if you don't pick this card up as quickly as you can. Mistaken Arrest is a quick play spell card that has an effect very similar to its trap counterpart mistake. So what the effect reads is that until the end of your next turn, after the card resolves, neither player can add cards from their deck to their hand. So now obviously this is kind of a one turn quick play version of Mistake. And that's really cool because there's a lot of advantages that Mistaken Arrest has to its counterpart Mistake that makes it a very viable option moving forward in the meta. So now that YCS Remini and YCS Toronto have come to a close, it is definitive that Necros is still the best deck of the format. So why would you not want to run as many options as possible against that deck? And Mistaken Arrest is just another one of those options. I mean, being able to prevent the Necros player from adding cards to their hand, which is essentially what the deck does 80% of the time, is just key to being able to stop that strategy. And if you think about it, you have three copies of Mistake, one copy of Thunder King, and now three copies of this card? You're allowed to run 7 out of 40 cards in your deck that can potentially just shut down Necros before they even really get going, and just allows you to get an easy win. Now one of the other benefits of Mistaken Arrest is that it's not susceptible to spell and trap destruction like its counterpart Mistake. Meaning that if your opponent has MST, Galaxy Cyclone, Fairy Wind, you know, any spell or trap removal whatsoever, Mistaken Arrest doesn't care. I mean, you can chain it to the activation of any of those cards if it gets targeted, you can activate it immediately, and they're not going to have a way to stop it. So being able to do that ensures that you're going to get one free turn against Necros that they're not going to be able to do any sort of good setup. Another benefit of this card being a quick play spell is that it can be ran in a deck like Burning Abyss with not a lot of downside. Because when you ran Mistake in Burning Abyss, you're really hindering the deck's ability to special summon since you'll have a continuous trap on the field, and you won't be able to really go off like you would want to. But with Mistake and Arrest, since the effect still lingers even though the card's no longer on the field, you can go off all you want and potentially set up for a really strong OTK. Now, Necros isn't the only deck that Mistaken Arrest is good against. You can use it against Satellar Knight when wanting to stop searches with Rhoda or Deneb. You can use it to stop Klee to stop the searches with Scout or Sacrifice or Summoner's Art. You can use it to stop Hero because all the searches that they do with their Shadow Mist, their Rhoda, their Ecall, you can just completely shut that down. And you can even use it to stop Ritual Beasts and the plethora of searches that they get through the ulti Conahawk, and being able to stop a Ritual Beast player from setting up their just massive wall of back row puts you in a really good position. You can even use it against Burning Abyss to stop the search of a Skarm during the end phase, and being able to cut off the Burning Abyss player from searching a tour guide in the end phase to potentially prevent getting otk the next turn is well worth not being able to search anything on your turn. Mistaken Arrest is good against Cosmo, because if that farm girl gets her one attack in and gets that search, that usually means that you're going to lose that turn, so being able to stop that search is really important. You can even use it to stop the clowns, you know, when they banish Damage Juggler to add a clown to their hand, you can just go ahead and stop that and prevent them from just going completely off, because most of the time, that usually indicates that Trapeze Magician is going to be coming sometime soon. Now the only downside to this card is that you can't search during the turn that it's activated until the end of that turn. So more than likely you're going to activate it during your opponent's turn, but then when your follow-up turn comes, you're not going to be able to search anything either. But that's okay, because this card is meant to be used in a way that you're going to want to get all of your setup complete, so that you're not going to need to search anything on your next turn, and you can go ahead and either push for as much damage as possible, or potentially even win the game in that turn. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about Mistaken Arrest. I just love how it adds to the whole theme of not being able to add cards from deck to hand, you know, with Mistake, Thunder King, all that. And it's just really good. I'm actually so surprised this card is as cheap as it is, considering it's probably one of the best cards to use against the best deck in the format right now. Thank you all so much for watching the video. We'll see you next week. See you next